When I'm having a tough time, I use fragrance to transport me and I'll share some of those with you. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Thanks so much for hanging with me today. I really appreciate you sticking with me um, throughout new subscribers and old. I really appreciate the love you've been showing me. Mwah! Love you all. Today's video is a collaboration with myself and Yummy411 who is actually her name is Kia. I have been having a really tough time emotionally for the past few months and I put a post up and Yummy commented down below. Her comment gave me the idea to do this video today. The video is about fragrances that we use to pull us out to, you know, or we turn to when we're having tough times, whether it's emotional, whether it's, you know, whatever, to, to get us through that hump. What do we tend to go to? To me, I actually use fragrance and, and makeup. That's what kind of pulls me through, you know, puts a smile on my face. But today, we're, I'm just talking about fragrances. So I pulled five from my collection. I have more, but I pulled five from my collection that I know I can totally count on to make me feel good when I'm in a bummy, bummy spot. The first one is Montgallon Floral. Montgallon Floral is a favorite. In fact, I love the original Montgallon. I love the Floral. I love the Eau de Toilette. Those are the three that I own. This fragrance, I talked about quite a bit. It has a beautiful calming note in it, which is lavender, but it's got some other florals in there as well. My dears, when I spray this on my skin, I tell you, I am instantly transported. It is uplifting. It is bright. It is floral, <laughs> right? Mon Guerlain floral, but it has the DNA of the original. It has that omni scent to it as well. I absolutely adore this perfume. I've used up another bottle already. I've shared it with others. I've talked about it ad nauseum in other videos, but my first fragrance that I will pick that says nothing more than Pam, get up and get out there and get them, girl, is Montgallon Floral. Now the next fragrance is Powdery Hawthorne. This is by Dossier and it's inspired by Tom Ford's Metallique. Guys, this is a fragrance that I reach for a lot. Look at that, I use this up, okay? And I've only had it for a few months and I'm, I use it like crazy. I mean, look at it, look at that dent, right? I love it, I will highly recommend it. It smells just like Metallique to me. So yeah, this one here is a great mood booster and mood elevator for me. It's Powdery Hawthorne by Dossier. Next fragrance that always makes me smile is Alien. And this here is a flanker, actually it's a limited edition bottle. This is Alien, We Are All Alien. This has the DNA of the original Alien, smells like the original Alien, but with a punch to it. It has a brighter, in my opinion, a brighter um, note. Oh, I love this so much and particularly because it does smell a bit like well it does smell like the original but I love this flanker I love the bottle too I always smile when I pick up the bottle when I'm playing around with it I love it I love the gradation of the purple and the amber and the orange and the peach love this bottle so it's not just the fragrance the juice that's in here that makes me smile but so does the presentation of the bottle mmm <laughs> I really love this fragrance. I know that Moogla's fragrances are, you know, a little polarizing, but for me, if I want to um, feel happy and like sp spritey, I pull either the original out or I will pull this one out. This bottle is newer to me, and this is We Are All Alien by Moogla. So the next fragrance that I am reaching for when I'm in a funk is this here. This is Queen of the Night Grandi Flora. When Queen of the Night came in, I sprayed it and I was not crazy impressed. But what's interesting is this fragrance has an herbally element to it that it elevates my mood. It's a white floral that is citrusy, woody, sweet, and it sits on your skin, but it doesn't have any type of synthetic -y vibe to it. It just smells really clean. Like I mentioned, when I first got it, I was having one of my really bad days. I sprayed it. I was like, mm, I wasn't impressed. And then as I was going about my business, I noticed that I was my mood was elevated and I kept wanting to try this. I, I picked it up. I sprayed it. I picked it up. I sprayed it. I picked it up. I sprayed it. 
and I noticed it just has a clean herbally vibe to it that just had me going back to it even more and my mood I wasn't I won't say I was like hey happy but I was feeling comforted and that's really important when you're in a bad space you want comfort if, if you're like me, your perfume is where you go to for comfort sometimes. This is a good one. This is Queen of the Night, Grandiflora. Now one of my absolute favorite comforter, um, mood elevator, mood booster is from the house of Maison Lancome. I love Maison Lancome fragrances, but this one guys, this one I didn't even like initially. And as a matter of fact, we did a video together, Kia and I, we did a live with Lulu and Amina, and we were talking about this fragrance specifically. And I didn't really care for it that much. But then the more I wore it, the more I tried to test it to figure out whether or not I wanted to sell it, the more I loved it. And the more it made me feel so good so good when I sprayed it and that is Lavance Rhiannon. Now this here is the older bottle. It's got the beautiful ornate details. I love it. I love the bottle. I, I love it. Lavance Rhiannon is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It is one of the fragrances that I constantly reach for. It's lactonic. It's got vanilla in it. It's got lavender in it, which lavender is, you know, an element that is nice and calming anyways, right? Mm, aromatic. It is sweet. It is creamy. It is gorgeous. It is one of the fragrances that I am constantly reaching for when I am wanting something that's going to make me feel good. I mean, that's what perfume is about for me. It's about being transported. It's about my own personal journey. All of these fragrances, my dears, they make me feel so good inside when I am feeling really bad, when I'm going through a tough spot, when I'm at a, I'm a stuck and I can't move forward. I will pull for, I will go for Levance Trianon. I will go for Grandiflora, Powdery Hawthorne. We Are All Alien or Any Alien Flanker. And of course, Mongrel On. I, that, these are the ones that I tend to go to. There are others, but these are the five that I tend to go to recently when I'm in a pretty funky space. So I would love to hear from you what fragrances you pull out when you're having a tough time. Yeah, thanks Kia for the idea. I'm so glad you accepted my invitation and I can't wait to see what your five fragrances that you pull out when you're having a tough time. I want to see what yours are. Please don't forget to go to Yummy411's channel to see what her top five feel good for a tough time fragrances are. I will link her stuff above as well as down in the description so you can go directly over after you're watching this video. If you don't mind, please let me know what your five fragrances are that you tend to run to when you are having a bad time, when you are feeling depressed, when you are having just a tough go at it. Let me know down in the comments. Now, Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share this video. Until the next time, take care of yourself, Take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!